cows may be a real gas. And giraffes are picky. But the next contender's bad behavior will have you running for cover. And later, we'll reveal something so revolting that it could make you lose your lunch. Mud is gross. It's sloppy, sticky, and stinky. It can make the cleanest competitors fight dirty. But coming in at number eight in our countdown of most extreme gross outs is an animal that really gets down and dirty. Welcome to the muddy, malodorous world of the hippopotamus. It may look gross, but imagine if you had almost no hair, sensitive skin, and lived under the baking African sun. You'd be heading straight for the sunscreen, and for the hippo, that means mud, lots of mud. But there's a special X factor in the hippo's muddy sunscreen. It's number eight in the countdown, because if you hang out with hippos, your guaranteed a gross encounter of the turd kind. A hippo lets loose a gross mix of urine and feces by twirling its tail like a propeller. The noxious green spray is used to humiliate hippo rivals and to mark their territory. But they're not the only ones taking revenge with dung. Adele Jones from Brisbane, Australia is a florist who's found a novel use for dung. For those in love, she'll send flowers. For those seeking revenge, she collects, packages and ships gift-wrapped dung. The success of Adele's bizarre mail order business is no flash in the pan. Every Australian's dream is to make money out of poo, and that's what we're doing. <laughs> Dispatching dung is all in a day's work for a hippo, and there's no extra charge for air mail. But not everyone finds it gross. When the hippos have finished delivering their pungent packages, it's dinner time for a peckish baboon. But if you think that meal is gross, just wait till you see what's being served up next in the countdown. We've seen vile sunblock and stinky livestock. But just ahead is a youngster with a real potty mouth. And we'll discover an animal that has a truly nauseating way of bringing home the bacon. That's coming up on The Most Extreme. Our countdown of extreme grossouts continues in the parched wastelands of northern India. In this desolate place, the golden jackal sneaks into number seven in the countdown because it survives on a truly vile diet. Jackals are scavengers, which is why even this putrid carcass is worth fighting for. Jackals survive by eating the dead and diseased, even if it's been rotting for days under the hot sun. But if you think that's sick, just wait till you see the way they bring up their kids. Jackals are number seven in the countdown because they have a truly repulsive way of putting dinner on the table. 
every three hours, mom and dad throw up. We may think a meal of pre-digested buffalo is gross, but for young pups, it's all that stands between them and starvation. And like mothers everywhere, when the kids have finished eating, mom gets to finish what's left on the plate. Throwing up may be gross, but some people have tossed their cookies in the name of science. These pilots are taking part in an experiment to test the body's ability to cope with motion sickness. Inside a revolving chamber, everything looks normal until you see the weird things happening to gravity. You feel motion sickness when information collected by the balance center in your inner ear tells your brain that you're moving and yet your eyes are telling you that you're still. This sensory conflict produces all the classic symptoms of motion sickness. First, you go pale and clammy, then you break out in a cold sweat, and when it all gets too much, you hurl. interested in motion sickness. Few people ever experience as much sensory confusion as a pilot flying acrobatic maneuvers. Motion sickness can sometimes turn a joyride into a bad trip for a thrill-seeking passenger. But you don't need to be looping the loop to feel ill. Surveys of U.S. business travelers on commercial airlines have shown that up to 50% of passengers will experience some degree of motion sickness when encountering heavy turbulence. How you doing, okay? Well, you know, I think I'm okay, yeah. <laughs> Are you going to hurl on me? No, I don't think so. Okay. okay. I'll let you know. It's possible to fight motion sickness by taking medications that contain antihistamines. These work by calming the stimulation of the inner ear. But the simplest cure for motion sickness is to always ride where your eyes will see the same motion that your body and inner ears feel. So looking into a camera's viewfinder is an easy way to feel the need for an airline barf bag. Barf bags are something that most people hope they never have to reach for. But a man from Fort Worth, Texas grabs one every chance he gets. Ben Guttery has an extremely unusual collection. I am the largest collector of barf bags in the U.S. The next largest collection is probably at the Smithsonian. They have a few hundred bags. Ben has over 1,100 barf bags from airlines all over the world but not one of the bags has been used, so they're of no interest to jackals. A paper sack full of vomit would be their ideal doggy bag. Feeding your kids on regurgitated rubbish may seem like a nasty eating habit, but coming up next is an animal with a truly revolting drinking problem. The hills of southern India are some of the wettest places on the planet. During the monsoon season, they get drenched by more than six meters of rain. 